Hey, let me tell you something, G. Niggas is afraid to be great simply because we gonna demand and ask you to be great again. It's about the consistency with this shit. If you can't do it multiple times, bro, then you truly don't want it, man. That's what it's about. So the question I ask you is, can you do it again? The only way you're gonna be able to do that on a consistent and high level, bro, is simply to lock in, man. I'm bringing y'all my six foot three ISO Demi, the defensive liability. And I'm gonna show you how you can take something with such a negative on the floor and ultimately turn it into something great. From me to you, dog. God told you to be great. And if you're gonna waste your potential, man, you might as well cough that up. Because one thing about me, man, I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna choose greatness and I'm gonna always, always keep God first, dog. Baby. Making sure my people eat like nigga. You don't even know what I speak about. Long nights I've been losing my sleep about. Don't give a fuck what you niggas do beef about. Only time I do a dose when I eat how it used to be broke, but you see what I'm sleeping now. Uh, 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 uh. Roll up a blunt, I relieve myself I only came here to be myself Being broke, I can never ever see myself I need something to keep me I need something to keep me calm Dreadhead skating that nigga Jay Long When I wanted, I needed to stay in the song Gang, 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 gang Gang, man You too Hey G, bro, look, man I'm bringing y'all boys something Different, bro, I'ma show y'all boys A defense, a liability Y'all boys tapped into the last one, and I showed y'all boys how to lock in. But in this video, bro, we're going to do the complete opposite. I'm going to show you what it's like to be a defensive liability, to be able to hold your own, and also contribute to your team on both ends of the floor. This build right here is something I haven't used in a while. This is my 6'3 ISO Demi. You feel me? I brought it in a pro-am, and I'm not going to lie. Juan Smay on the 6-3, dog, go crazy. IG, right, look, bro, let's get it. I'm going to break this down before we really get up in this, bro. It was me, Q Millie, and my dog Trey with two randoms, bro. That's all I can say. We playing random rec, already going ballistic. And with this game, because I was producing at a high level, like these niggas couldn't stop me. Bro, these boys started feeding me. Obviously, my dogs is going to feed me. But the randoms was getting right. Look, he had his mic on. Let's get right, bro. I'm going to take advantage of it. They see me going ballistic. This right here is a defensive liability. 25 stats in every category on defense. But, you feel me? When you come out with a build like this, you have to be crazy on the sticks. Like, it's pointless for you to pull out a, a little guard at that. Even if you have defense, but it's pointless to pull out a little guard. If you're not going to contribute at a high level on offense, whether you're going to be a great passer or a complete dog, you dig? In the scoring category, as you can see, look, I'm taking advantage. Like, these boys couldn't stop me. As y'all can see, in the end of the first quarter, we are down by nine. But like I said, bro, you simply turn two negatives into a positive. You feel me? You not only, that's a bucket at the end of the quarter, but you not only take this as a competitive game right you take it serious but this allows you to tap in man think outside the box and break this shit down bro you feel me feed the nigga that's going to cook up watch this through the screen that's a bucket no cap but like this is what i love this is calm this is where you able to think outside the box come back from adversity not every game is gonna go your way look I got, look, watch this, bro. I'ma swing it. Let me get the reset if you don't got it, Trey. That's a bucket. But like, I'm going to pass if niggas is open. But when I got the lane on this little, I'm coming to dominate, bro. I'm coming to dominate. I have the pass act, bro, so I'm not no stingy player. Y'all know this, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Something about this six foot three, and I don't use this build a lot. I feel like when it comes to me on the guard play, especially when you got the speed, you can cook up. All wrong with passing, bro. This is the ultimate, ultimate offensive juggernaut, bro. And me using this build, bro, especially in this game right here, it just allowed me to use this build to its maximum potential. Not only in the finishing, not only shooting from deep, but also even on defense. I'm guarding ball. We didn't play two three. We didn't do none of that extra. I'm guarding ball, bro. We're playing man. I'm not running from none of the smoke, and this is what I like. If my dog was, if my man's was dogging me, then hey, I'd have made the switch with no hesitation. But I'm here to hold my own. It's about your mentality, bro. It's either your cup is half full or half empty. Me, my shit is half 
full, bro. And I'm not done yet. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry, so I want to get it. Watch this, bro. I'm gonna come on, bro. He's bopped. I got him jumping. Where he going, bro? 2020. We got this joint tied up, bro. Let's get right. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. We gotta get a stop, man. In order to win this game, we gotta come through and get this stop. That'll be clutch. But look, we gonna keep the gas on, keep the fire on. I'ma swing it to boys opening the corner. Like I said, these boys was feeding me. This is what I like to do. If I'm killing, if you killing. Bro, I'm, you're the hot hand. We want to win, nigga. That's the ultimate goal. If niggas come in here and don't feed the hot hand, they simply don't want to win. And that's just what it is, bro. There's no excuses. Niggas just don't want to win. They just want to play the game. And that's cool if that's what lane you are in. But me, I want to win at every game. I want to win every game. Knowing that it's possible that you may lose some games, I'm cool with that. But my ultimate objective is to learn something through the process. You feel me? We are we were down and we and I brought this team back. Along with my teammates, obviously, like I tell y'all boys, scoring isn't everything. You feel me? I'm gonna take that. Scoring is not everything. But in the case of this game, this is what they needed from me. You feel me? If I had to pass, I would pass. But if I needed to score, I will score. Come on, bro. That's what we doing. And no cat look, two on one. I'm swinging that. That's a bucket. Let's get right, bro. 20 points, five assists, halftime. You feel me? Halftime. We're still playing, man. 33, 25. And we, hey, we kind of deflated these boys. Look, my man's about to quit out. I'm shooting that. All because I kept the gas on. If you keep the gas on, I don't play with none of these niggas. I'm treating comp just like the casuals. Because if you do, you take your gas off just because the competition is ass. Then I, overall, I feel like you hurting yourself. You got to play competitive at all times, bro. You can't turn that switch off, you feel me? Because that's the only way you can learn, bro. You understand what you can do. They definitely put AI because Buddy quit up out of there. So I had to switch it up, you feel me? I'm going to take advantage of the mismatch. I'm going to dunk on Buddy. But now, because I have AI, I'm not finna four shots. Because I got this sharp take, though, I'm definitely going to try to take an ankle if I got it. So, look, I'm going to spam this real quick. Oh, come on, bro. That's a, come on, bro. Let me get that. I'm gonna do what I can, but when I don't have the beds, I'm not forcing it unless I snap, buddy. So that's how you roll it. We got a 10 point lead. It's pointless for us, me to force shots up. Look, AI hey, gonna play high as hell, swing to the corner. That's a green A hey, trade, bro. When you on, you on. No kizzy. 13 point lead. I'm gonna try to get the corner, bro. You feel me? Got to contest 10% with a 25 perimeter defense. And I'm 6'3, so he's supposed to shoot over the range. I'm down there trying to get the board and everything, bro. I'm out here hustling. Just because my stats say one thing don't mean I'm gonna play like that, bro. I'm playing competitive, I'm on your ass, and I'm doing what I gotta do for the team to win. So watch this, walk up casually, the AI's not going, you feel me, pluck me out, but that's a great screen, quick bucket. I don't know why I was looking for the pass, but hey, we got a little 11 point lead, and look, I'm on defense, I'm telling you, bro. I'm guarding whoever, I'm in the corner right now, but even though I'm in the corner, like I told y'all boys in the last vid, yeah, that's crazy, they definitely disrespected me. But just because I'm in a corner, you still have to lock in, man, and be able to hold your own. Obviously, he's going to blow by me, but that's what the center's for. But just play your zone to the best of your capability, bro. Because a lot of niggas do be link weak links. And I'm not going to lie, because of the build I was on, in my opinion, I will continue to attack me. I'm the weak link, at least stat-wise, on the, on the floor. So you have to take advantage of that. Find a liability and attack it, but... Niggas just don't because I do hold my own, especially when it comes to the perimeter. If you doing, if you spamming the Jamal Murray behind the back and your jump shot is right, yeah, you definitely might shoot over those. But in most cases, if niggas don't really be shooting like that, they're strapped. You feel me? That's when you got to understand what the hell is going on. And because my man ended up leaving out on defense, I'm not guarding AI. You feel me? Like I told you, I'm taking the challenge. Let me get the body. I'm not guarding AI, bro. I, I'm guarding the next man up. I'm on ball. Watch this. So I'm trying to switch over. I'm trying to get man. He about to quit. He ain't even coming up court right now. So look, like this. This is what I'm on. I'm trying to guard Buddy with the orange shoes because he was the main one hitting. And if I could slow him down, not stop him, if slow him down on the build like this, then we definitely going to secure the dub. Up eight points. Q Millie hit me in the corner. I'm not going to force that. Guess what? I swing it. No cap. That's a steam. You know that's what I do best, man. That's a great shot by the random, bro. Like, these boys was definitely hitting. They was doing their thing. And because we was all playing on the same cylinders, they understood the assignment where I was cooking up. I was being unselfish. I still had seven assists, but I was just taking advantage of the easy buckets. 
And now look, being unselfish, I pop play take. I understand I got an AI. I'm not finna force it over him, but I know if I steam it, watch this, come on, bro. My nigga's a real one just for shooting that. Play take, sharp take, he no hesitation. That's trick or treat. But like they understood that I just wanna win, bro. It's bigger than just me scoring. I'm not here trying to force up. Come on, that's a sting. That's, that's a little late on me, but it, hey, I still got it there. Play take, bucket. This is where we run away with it, bro. And being able to realize what's going on on the floor and also being able to play with boys who have similar, you could say IQ, but like niggas just want to win. I don't know these two niggas, so them feeding me, in my mind, is just a blessing because every game is just, you feel me? It's random, bro. You don't know what you going on, but also you have to just take account of your blessings, bro, and just be appreciative for what you, the cards that's dealt. That's why I don't be complaining about nothing, bro. Yeah, we be losing. Yes, boys be definitely selling. But, like, in reality, I don't let that stuff fade me because <laughs> there's real world problems, bro. And I can't be too caught up on what's going on in the video game, let alone niggas' ass. I understand what type of player I am. I understand what I bring to the table. And if I lose a game off of what somebody else is doing, bro, in reality, I don't take that into effect nor do it affect my confidence, bro, because I understand what type of player I am, bro. Niggas is straight dogs. And just because you lose a game uh, based off of what other niggas is doing, bro, you just got to take the L and learn from it, bro. You feel me? And that's why I like to surround myself with like-minded individuals. And it's going to take a while for me to put the puzzle together, but, like, I understand who you are and how you play, one, based off of the conversations you have, bro, and how you live it. And second, you feel me? Just your willingness to be a team player. A lot of niggas be hesitating, bro. A lot of niggas be selfish, and you can't win games like that. The proof is in the pudding. Every nigga you know in the NBA that was selfish, I'm going to put James Harden out there, bro. Nigga's a dog, but he's not. You feel me? He's not for the for the team. Nigga want to put up shots. Nigga want ISO. Nigga use 70, 80% of the offense. And when you play like that, it's going to get you through the regular season. But when the chips are all on the line, bro, when it really matter in the postseason, bro, niggas can't pull through. Take every game you play like a postseason game, bro. Take everything you play like a seven-game series, obviously. And I know niggas in the comments going to say James Horton averaged a double-double, 10 assists. But he, was, he had to do that. You feel me? That was the role they placed him in. But if he had a choice... Nigga won't score, you feel me? I'm not saying he's selfish all the time, but I'm telling you, his preference. We're talking about somebody's pure preference, man. That's why I like LeBron James. Nigga is, bro, top five in assists, and he's the best scorer, or he scored the most points all time, bro. How do you do that without being unselfish? So make sure y'all boys tap in on that. Make sure y'all boys realize what's really going on. And you can use real life scenarios and put it into the game of 2K, bro. That's why when I bring out this build, yes, bro, defensive liability. But one, I'm gonna hold my own because I'm always on dog timing. And secondly, you feel me? I'm definitely gonna produce some offense with this build, no matter what, whether I'm scoring or dot my teammates, as you can see. Niggas is getting open. Niggas just got to fall through, bro. Niggas just got to hit the shots. So that's why I want to say, bro, this six foot three Demi, bro. <laughs> it's OD, man. I seen y'all boys almost got my video to 100 likes, man. I'll put that on the screen right here, bro. 100 likes. So that's what I'm saying. When I go to sleep, you wake up in the morning, and that video is at 100 likes, bro. Definitely, I'm dropping the video tomorrow if that shit hit 100 likes, man. Before I go, bro, I want to tell y'all boys, man, I love you, bro. I appreciate everything y'all boys do, my G. You feel me? The summer is about to heat up, you dig? Tomorrow is Wednesday, June 5th, and we got a lot of bangers on the way, man. If you making content, bro, you just got to stay locked in, stay in your creative mindset, man. Surround yourself with people that's on the same page as you, people that want to grow, people that want to evolve, and people that want to create. Because if you do those things, man, on top of taking care of yourself, everything around you will be taken care of. Make sure y'all boys continue to be great, man. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all boys comment for show for show. And most importantly, man, hit that subscribe, dog. I love you. I love God. Oh, baby.